Hello, everyone. I'm sure if I ask a question right now, you can come up with five cones that globalization has caused over time. Globalization had a bad impact on local art and culture. And what I'm more concerned about is the impact that globalization had on the, on the society and its culture. My name is Mustafa Khayat. I'm a student of architecture. I'm a freelance photographer. And throughout my journey of being a photographer, I've been involved with the culture of my city, Erbil. Erbil is located in the northern side of Iraq. I was lucky enough to grow up in a society which is very rich of cultural diversity. I was blessed. And as my journey started, actually my journey started a long time ago. It started 20 years ago when I started to play with camera equipment. So as, as, long as my journey went forward, uh, I, in the past five years, I noticed that many craftsmen had lost their job. Many crafts, craftsmen uh, decided to not do what they're doing anymore because they couldn't keep up with the growth of commercial. They didn't keep up with the cheap prices of mass uh, production products that has been imported from abroad. So, of course, this is a problem that doesn't exist only in my region. It's a problem that doesn't exist only in the Middle East. It's a global issue. So as, uh, as time w went, uh, I, I w one day in 2009, I was going on a tour in the city, in the, in the bazaar. And there was that guy who, who was, happened to be a shoe shiner. I was so interested to go and see what he's doing. So I sat with him. He told me the story of his life. He told me how much he loved what he's doing. And the more he talked about his job, the more I loved the thing that he's doing. Before, I thought that shoe shining is uh, like a simple thing, and, and like it wouldn't be having that, that importance. For, for, but th that guy showed me much passion, much love to his work, which made me to be proud of him. So I went back home, and I decided to share his story. The feedback was incredible. Suddenly, everyone was interested to know more about the shoe shiner to know more about what he's doing. Where is he? Elder people encouraged me to do more of those stories. Younger were so eager to know what is this. They were so enthusiastic about, about the issue. So at that moment, I thought, here is, lies something great. I can go and find those individuals that put a lot of emotion and love to what they are producing and be the voice of those people. So local art and uh, local craftsmen are very unique because they are produced in a particular place. They are an outcome of the culture. And in return, there is skillful activity. It's resulted in a skillful activity. So the, the story of the shoe shiner, among many other stories that I have been covering since that time, brought me to the idea of my initiative, which is highlighting and focusing on those craftsmen. And my goal is to, to make a advertisement for those locals so that it will be a marketing strategy for them so that more people will know about the culture of 
the local people will know about the culture of that, of their, of their culture, and, and it will be like a global thing that everyone will know about this place. So me and my couple of my friends started to, we, we sat together and we, we thought about uh, how we can do that. And actually we, we came up with the idea to, to create a platform to, to bring all those stories and put them in one place. So we are about to, to finish up the design for the website. It's almost done. So here is the thing. I, I'm sure that any one of, every one of you will have a similar story of someone, similar story back home, or similar story you have heard. So I think a simple photograph with the story behind it can make a huge difference. A single photograph with the story behind it can save our culture. Thank you.